Clover and Mr. X. He is a 17 year old Chicana Gelding in the Grand Prix. We had them in eighth place with 71.587. Together, these have explored the world. They competed at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016. They've competed in Tryon and Con World Equestrian Games, five World Cup finals, and two European Championships. Their last competition together was in November last year at the CDI Three Star in Moscow, where they both won the Grand Prix and the Freestyle with 74.218 and 79.335 respectively. Their personal best in the freestyle is an 83.15. If she can do that again, she will go well and truly into the lead. So let's see what Inessa McClover and Mr. X have in store for us tonight as they enter the arena here in Hagen. freestyle to music a great start straight into Piaf and a super Piaf it is so the degree of difficulty for this test is a 9.3 This horse looks like he could just keep piaffing forever. Lovely Piaf and Passage work. Just like to see some more suppleness through the body in the half passes. You can just see there 6.9 for the half pass left. Just like to see more bend through the rib cage. And suppleness over the back. Some tension in the collective walk as well. just looks a bit quarters leading in that uh, canter half pass to the left
mistake behind and the one times just very close. You can just see the score dropping down now. They started out really high on 77 now. They've just dropped down to 74. Six point three for the one ten, please. I think that was meant to be a canter trot transition. It's a bit of miscommunication there. Let's see if they can pull some marks back. before the pier. PF is still good. I would say the PF at the beginning of the test was slightly better. Maybe some tiredness is creeping in there. And that we have... The test for Inessa Merkalova and Mr. X for Russia. Currently sitting on 74%. That is enough to take them into second place behind Sona for Great Britain. Some really lovely work. I think their best work actually was at the beginning with the, the Piaf Passage Tour that they started with that was super super impressive it was almost as if as the test went on maybe some tiredness crept in the horse is 17 but uh, here you can see the half passes at the beginning just like to see a little bit more suppleness through the body and here in the canter this was the two time changes, which went well for Inessa. Just feel like sometimes the balance isn't quite right. There's more weight going down through the shoulder than being carried on the hind leg. to the counter half passes that was just where the quarters were leading slightly I know that they had the canter pirouette coming up so it was preparation for that but when the when the movements kind of merge and it means that you make a mistake in one it can become costly here we have it 75.655 we have 